Vertex is a 30-year-old biotech company founded in 1989, the same year the cystic fibrosis gene was cloned. We have 2,600 people around the world, most of whom work in research and development to discover new medicines for serious diseases. At Vertex, we are focused on cystic fibrosis, alpha-1 antitrypsin, ApoA1 kidney disease, sickle cell anemia, pain, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and most recently, type 1 diabetes. In every one of these cases, we see a deep insight into the causal human biology and a new therapeutic approach that we think could really change the game for patients. One of the amazing things about working at Vertex has been getting to know the patients and families with the diseases that we work on. Not a month goes by that we don't have patients and families come by the building, describe what their challenges are and what their needs are, and this is really what motivates us. This is what fires up our scientists of everyone who works here. When I came to Vertex five years ago, from the Broad Institute, Harvard, MIT, I wanted to see the fruits of what we'd done, the discovery of new genes, uh, play a role to directly improve people's lives. We spent the first six months determining what the research strategy would be. And we came to two simple ideas that are the foundation of everything we do. The first is we only work on targets that play a causal role in human biology of disease. And the second is we focus on new therapeutic technologies that make it possible to address those causal factors in human disease with a therapeutic. Back in 2011, I wrote a paper which was entitled Getting Pharmaceutical R&D Back on Target. It dawned on me that probably the most important thing to get right in a drug discovery program is the target you, you work on. Because if you're not choosing the right target, even if you've got the best drug, it's not going to work in a clinical study. So if we get that part right, if we pick the target well, we spend the time and effort it takes and we'll be relentless in coming up with a potential therapeutic approach and a molecule that we can take forward to the clinic. Because we know we've got a high probability that when we do do that pivotal test in patients, it's got a good likelihood of success. Some of the stages of drug discovery may actually be harder for human genetic diseases. And the reason is that targets based on human genetics are not selected because they're convenient or because we already have a way to address them. They're chosen because they're important to human disease. But that means we may need to go out and invent a new therapeutic approach to address them. That early step may actually therefore take longer. But if you can succeed, the likelihood of success in clinical trials and of patient benefit is, I believe, much higher than if you start with a convenient target but that isn't connected to the biology of human disease. What we're looking to do is have as many tools in the toolbox as possible so we can find the right therapeutic approach for the target in question. Some targets you can modulate by, if you like, conventional small molecule approaches, oral small molecules. And at Vertex we've actually expanded the range of small molecule approaches, you know, beyond just classical inhibition to things like protein folding correction, like our CFTR program, like our AAT program. But beyond small molecules, sometimes, you know, it's going to require a different modality to be able to modulate that target, which is why we need more tools in the toolbox, which leads us to approaches like genome editing, leads us to approaches like mRNA delivery, it leads us to approaches like even cell therapy. Technology is critical to our work, all the way through from our sort of high throughput screening to find potential small molecule hits against the target of interest. We use robotics all the way through the process. You know, when I think about what it takes to come up with a new drug, it really is a team sport, which requires multiple skills, multiple disciplines, to all coming together to find the right target, to set up the right screens, to discover the right molecule, the right drug, if it's a small molecule approach, and take that all the way through to clinical development. I can't believe the talent we have at Vertex. We've got the most incredible collection of talent that all come together in a collaborative way to do what is a very, very difficult thing, find the right target find a great drug and take it all the way through to clinical studies and ultimately to patients. The American Society of Human Genetics has a special place in my heart. My scientific background is in human genetics. I was actually on the board of the ASHG and all the work we do at Vertex is powerfully informed by the discoveries of this community of scientists. Thank you for everything you do and I hope that in the coming decades we see many more therapies that improve the lives of patients and families with diseases common and rare due to the insights you have made.